When I program the md and conferences, I really think about what is information for the medical device industry and what can our attendees take back that they can use to immediately apply to their job responsibilities. I'm John Lewis. I'm the Vice President and the Chief Operating Officer at Bio Ohio. I think this is my fifth or sixth md and West show and been a conference attendee I think the last few years. The speakers are good and it's always a very informative conference and I like the PowerPoints I can download from the web, so it's all quite good. Glad I'm here. And in companies that are so um, resource constrained that they've had cutbacks in staffing and they're trying to do so much more with fewer people, they don't have time to completely develop the new product with these new materials, so they're hoping to leverage the experience from other companies. We really wanted to create an interactive experience. Um, we believe that sort of uh, having them sh having them actually experience it and not being told what to do is that much more valuable for when they leave. So we had post-it notes and brainstorming and prototypes being built and they actually went to lunch um, in terms of giving more of an empathy to the experience. We had them on crutches and eye patches and everything so they could really empathize with the design challenge that we had them brainstorming on. My name is Morris Sherwood. My company is Sherwood International Consulting Group, based out of Santa Barbara, California. Today my focus has been attending the FDA sessions, uh, specifically on 483s, warning letters, and uh, basic regulatory strategies for how to deal with FDA. Uh, they were brilliant. Um, that I really enjoyed them, and uh, I always get a lot out of them uh, and able to keep up with what F where FDA's heads are at. The primary reason I come here is to network with both colleagues I know and people I don't know, so the networking has been very good this year. My name is Felipe Echeverri. I'm the engineering director for BioRap Technologies. I'm here during the conference and exhibition, just trying to set ahead of the game, uh, learning about the new technologies and, and make sure I don't fall behind. I think it's really important to get uh, the content out of the academic space and into the practical space. So it's essential that we utilize examples, perhaps some war stories that we've experienced, to try to illustrate these points and make it real. These topics seem to be on the mind of a lot of the, of the attendees. They, they came already prepped. They've already been reading the, the articles and they've already, in many cases, attended conferences like these and have heard about this before. But um, I think today we're hearing a lot of them ask for, do you have the data to show your values? Do you have proof of efficacy? Has it been used anywhere? Has it been looked at by the FDA? And I think they come primed for this and they want to hear who's doing it and you know, will this help them with their products. You have to come up and attend the seminars and the conference. Um, the value is extremely high. It's a very good value to incredible education on different aspects it takes to be a medical device company.